the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. For your friends are my friends, the happier we'll be. Friends, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Hey, folks. Friends, neighbors, welcome to the show. This is the way we make the bread, make the bread, make the bread. This is the way we make the bread so early in the morning. Good morning. Today we're going to be making French peasant bread. Ensemble, or together. It'll be a lovely process. <laughs> what a wonderful day to be together. <laughs> Amen. All right, well, let's get started. Let's see here. How much flour do I need? Mm, four cups bread flour. Oh, no, I just have... I don't think that's bread flour. Oh, all purpose, okay. And I'm just gonna say whole wheat's okay too. Liberate yourself in your baking. You get to make the choices here. All right. Uh, du. Come with me, everybody. <laughs> Trois. And. Quatre. All right. Let's just start moving the energy in the bread. This reminds me of a verse I once heard. The silver rain is shining sun. The fields with scarlet poppies run. And all the ripples in the wheat are in the bread that we do eat. So when we sit at every meal and say a grace, we always feel that we are eating rain and sun and fields with scarlet poppies run. <laughs> that we are eating rain and sun and fields with scarlet poppies is run everybody that we are eating rain and sun and what fields with scarlet puppies run okay <laughs> let's see I, I can't do this without my pointer we this wouldn't be real teaching or edutainment without it so we've got the flour let's see the water Mm, we're not going to add that yet. Let's go with the powdered versions. Okay, one tablespoon of sugar. Now, you could also use honey if you'd like or maple sugar. Heck, you can use flat out just white sugar, molasses. I'm using coconut sugar. It has a low glycemic value. I'm not sponsored by this company, but Wholesome, if you would like to sponsor me, just let me know. Okay. This is the way we mix the sugar and the flour together. La la la. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right, let's. I'm I'm feeling the yeast next. Okay, according to my records, we use one packet of yeast or two and one quarter teaspoons. Yes, yes. This is an alchemical process we're involved in here. Uno. Dos. Now, I mean, I'm just one to just throw a quarter of the thing in there, but if you really, you know, you can go to the quarter teaspoon. If you want to feel really sure about everything that's going on, you do you, as they say. All right, back to the stirring. <laughs> and you want to put a lot of joy and love in your baking. All right. Oh, beautiful. It's really coming together. Now we need some salt, two teaspoons of salt. This is pink Himalayan salt. 
sea salt, pink Himalayan sea salt. <laughs> no, I don't think it comes from the sea, but you let me know. I don't know if it's a good idea to buy this from the Himalaya, but like what a gift for now that we have it. One, thank you. I mean, do you think that the salt mining is pretty bad <laughs> in the Himalayas? <laughs> it shudders me to think. Pink. Oh, it's so beautiful. Ah, oh, such a nice day when we can come together, make bread. I mean, get you can get grandma involved, the children, anybody. I mean, heck, you could almost get your dog involved, but we'll do that later. Bless you. All right, what else, people? You tell me, what am I missing? Oh, the water. Thanks. <laughs> Now, another bit of trivia here today is that a salsa jar holds exactly two cups of lukewarm water. I mean, to the brim, though. All right, here we go. I wish I had a close-up here for you, but, you know, budgeting cuts. <laughs> we got to do what we can. Look at this. Mmm. So foamy. So how have you all been? I mean, I don't want this to be all about me. How are things going? What's your favorite bread? Well, of course, today it's French peasant bread, am I right? <laughs> I'm going to have to really get in here. I mean, you have to use some actual like arm muscles to get this bread to turn. So if you're looking for a workout, forget your workout video on YouTube today. You can do this. I mean, I'm getting my abs involved. You might want to do like a knee bend to some degree to really like get the torque needed to pull this together. Wow. All right, folks. So that is stage one of the recipe. We're going to let this puppy rise twice today. Give it an hour and a half, two hours. Um, we're gonna wait till it doubles in size. Now, just to let you know, I am gonna transfer this dough to another bowl with some grease in it. And you might wanna do that. You can certainly leave it here, but you know, you can lose a lot of dough with the sticking to the bowl. And I know in these troubled times, uh, we need to just, you know, harness every bit of good nutrition and resources we can. So until then, uh, have a wonderful two seconds. All right, time lapse. The dough has about doubled in size. So I grease the pan with some olive oil. You can use whatever oil you wish. And I found out that this, um, this is cornmeal, but it's in the Himalayan pink sea salt bag. And I found out that, oh, <laughs> There's a dried ocean. So I guess the sea salt is readily available at this time. Some of the purest salt in the world, they say. All right, so there's the cornmeal. Get some flour in my hands. Get the dough going. All right. See, that pulls out pretty nicely with a greased pan. It's a little sticky. So get some more flour. This is a great sensory activity for all humans, but this is a great part to get kids involved in of just about any age, humans of any age. This is the way we knead the dough. Knead the dough, knead the dough. This is the way we knead the dough so early in the afternoon. All right, so it took about two hours to rise, you know, give or take. It's a pretty easy bread to fit in the flow of your day, so fit in the steps as you can. You don't actually have to knead it, but why not give it a little extra love? All 
All right. Here's our bread baby. So we're going to let that rise until it doubles in size, which doesn't take terribly long, and then we'll bake it and into bread make it. <sighs> All right. Let's bring this home, folks. This is the way we bake the bread, bake the bread, bake the bread. This is the way we bake the bread so early in the evening. All right, this has risen. It's even started to go down again. It rose pretty quickly, and that may happen for you too. Now, to complicate matters just a touch, we're going to transfer the risen bread that was totally fine on this pan and put it into this pan so we can fit it in the oven, okay? So we've greased the cast iron. This also can show you, you know, you can use a variety of pans. And you can't really mess it up too easily. Let's get a little flour. All right. There it is. Now, in switching pans, I think I'm going to need to let it rise again. <sighs> Got some butter here. We'll see you soon. This is the way we bake the bread. Oh, hold on. This is the way we bake the bread, bake the bread, bake the bread. This is the way we bake the bread so early in the evening. Hey folks, since we were last together a few moments ago, your time, our time, the uh, bread has risen to an acceptable place. It really didn't rise the third time like it had the first and second, but no worries. You probably won't be doing the third rise. So I have some melted butter here, which is really not that melted anymore, but it's gonna work just fine. And I'm just gonna cover that lovingly with a layer of butter. Mmm, the golden butter. All right. What else can I tell you about this? So many things. You could make this an herb bread. You could make it a flat bread. We're gonna just make it a, a bread in the oven tonight. All right. So let me, get, let me get my pointer out. Okay. So you're going to bake it at 425 for 10 minutes. And then once that 10 minute timer goes off, you're gonna just turn the temp down to 375 and give it another 20 minutes. And that should produce a beautifully brown bread that's just moist, moist and delicious. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pop it in the oven. <laughs> Cheers. We'll see you when it's ready. Oh, the bread is ready. We're gonna take it out of the oven. It is piping hot, golden brown. That's a whole wheat bread right there. All right. We're gonna dig into it in just a moment. This is the way we eat the bread, eat the bread, eat the bread. This is the way we eat the bread so early in the evening. Hello, son. Come on over. Let's try the bread. Oh. <laughs> well, are you ready for this? Sure. All right, let's do it. It's just pretty hot. We've got some buttery spread mm -hmm. okay. and some of Stephanie's peach raspberry homemade jam. Mm. Oh, let's do this. Whoa. Wow. 
That's just very hot. Shall we just a chunk? Can we handle the heat? All right. It's melting immediately. Yeah, it is. We may be slightly burning ourselves here, but you know, we do what we gotta do. There you go. There's she. There's rien. J'aime beaucoup le pain peasant Francais. What do you think? That sounded authentic, folks. He's not just playing us here. You wouldn't do that, would you? Mm. Cheers. Fresh bread. Mm. That does hit home. Well, yeah. that's all for today's video. Thanks so much for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you in the next the video. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. For your friends are my friends, the happier we'll be. Friends, the more we get together, the happier we'll be.